Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this video, I'll be showing you five different ways to boot to safe mode in Windows 10, depending on the condition of your computer and the nature of the problem you are trying to resolve. Sometimes certain issues may prevent some of these approaches from working, so you might have to check and see which approach is suitable for the condition of your computer. Usually, the need for safe mode arises when your computer is malfunctioning due to some malware or faulty drivers, or sometimes due to an application you have installed on your PC. Safe mode starts your computer with minimal user interface, loading only the essential drivers and services. It will prevent all third-party software and drivers from starting along with your Windows. Even the built-in Windows functions are equally set to minimal. It provides you the right platform and environment for resolving issues related to software or system drivers, either by rolling back such drivers or using some other troubleshooting tool it provides. And with that said, let's go ahead and see the different possible ways to boot to the Windows Safe Mode. The first method is to use the Windows System Configuration tool. Here I assume you still have access to your desktop, so go to your search and type run then click on the run desktop app from the search result you should have this run dialog box you can also press your windows key and the arrow key at the same time to open this run dialog box here type in the command msconfig as shown on the screen and hit enter that will open your system configuration tool here select the boot tab under boot option, select save boot, click apply, and then OK. Then you should get this pop-up asking you to restart to apply changes. Here you should ensure you have all your work saved, then click restart. Of course, you can also choose to exit without restarting and then the process will initiate when next you restart your computer. Upon restarting, it should take you into the safe mode. Here you should have this little safe mode written on the four corners of the screen. From here you can proceed with the operation you want to perform in safe mode. Now to exit safe mode and to set your computer to boot to normal mode when next you boot up, go again to the system configuration tool from the safe mode. Then uncheck the safe boot option, apply and hit OK. Then select restart on the dialog box. It should then restart and boot you back into the normal Windows environment. The second method would be to use the shift and restart combination. Here from your normal Windows environment, go to start and click on the power icon. Now hold down the shift key and select restart from the power options. Upon restarting, it should bring you to this page where it says choose an option. Here you want to select troubleshoot. On the page that follows, select advanced options. Here select startup settings. Then you will see a list of restart options including the option to enable safe mode. Here select restart. On the next page that shows up, you should see a list of startup options with some numbers next to each of them. These numbers correspond to the number on your keyboard or the function keys you need to press to start up a given option. Here, as you can see, there are three possible options for safe mode startup. You can choose any of these options depending on what you want to do in safe mode. For normal safe mode, I'll press the number 4 on my keyboard and then wait for the computer to boot to safe mode.
The third approach would be to go through your settings page. Here, click on the Windows logo and then select the gear icon to open your settings. On the settings page, go to where it says Update and Security and select it. On the page that opens up, click on Recovery. Then where it says Advanced Startup, click on Restart Now. Upon restarting, it should bring you to this page. Here, just as in the previous method, go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings, and then click on Restart. Again, upon restarting, press the number of function key that corresponds to the safe mode you want to boot into. I will again press 4 here and then wait for the computer to boot into safe mode. Now, the next two methods I'll be discussing are for situations where you are unable to access your desktop. Maybe you are having a black screen or blue screen error or your computer freezes trying to start up or for any other reasons you are unable to get to your desktop. Then one of these last two solutions could come in handy for you. So for the fourth approach, you will need to interrupt your normal boot process three times in order to force your computer to go into automatic repair. So basically while starting up your computer, maybe halfway into booting, press and hold down the power button for about five seconds until you observe a sudden shutdown. Then press it again to start booting up. Now repeat this process three times and your computer should go into automatic repair mode. In this mode, it will try to repair your computer automatically, but usually it will bring you to this page where it gives you the option of either restarting or choosing advanced options. Here select advanced options. Then on the next screen that follows, select Troubleshoot. Again, select Advanced Options. Then Startup Settings. And then click Restart. Upon restarting, it should bring you to this page. And here, just as in the previous methods, press the number or function key that corresponds to the safe mode you want to boot into. I will again press 4 here and then wait for my computer to boot into safe mode. The final method for this tutorial would be to use a Windows 10 installation drive. Here you will need a bootable USB with Windows 10 installation file stored in it. If you haven't made one already, you can follow the procedure I showed in this video. To do that, I will leave a link in the video description. The first step is to create our Windows 10 USB installation media, which is basically copying the installation files to the USB and configuring the USB to be bootable. Now attach your USB stick with Windows 10 installation files to your computer and then press the power button to start the process. Using the corresponding function keys or combination of escape and function key, select your boot device to boot from the USB. Now on this initial setup page, select Windows 10 64-bit or 32-bit depending on your platform. Then wait for the installation files to load. On this page, select Next, then click on Repair Your Computer. Here, select Troubleshoot, and then on the Advanced Options page, select the Command Prompt option. You should open up this Command Prompt terminal. Here, type in the command bcd edit space forward slash set space, Kelly bracket, default, space, safe boot, space, minimal, as shown on the screen, and hit enter. It should say that the operation completed successfully, then type exit to close the command prompt, 
It should bring you to this page. Here, select Exit and continue to Windows 10. And that should take you to your safe mode. Again, to exit safe mode and to set your computer to boot to normal mode when next you boot up, go to the system configuration tool from the safe mode. Then uncheck the safe boot option, apply and hit OK. Now select restart on the dialog box. It should then restart and boot into your normal Windows environment. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.